Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz with the gifting season upon us. The question begs to be asked to regift or not to regift. And it all depends on who you ask. According to a study, 83% of people think regifting is acceptable. About 50% of people think they've received a regift in the past. <laughs> so when is it okay to regift? Experts say the item should be new and unopened. The gift should also be rewrapped for the new recipient. They also say don't just give a gift away because you don't like it. Make sure it's something that the recipient will like. And uh, maybe most importantly, if you, the original gifter, and the new recipient run in the same circles, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't re-gift it and give it to that person. Because that other person may be in your same circle and spot it. Especially when it's something kind of quirky and unique. unique. Right, yeah. Because you really can't right. can't fake that. If yeah. it's something that's just basic, run of the general, mill, general, run of the mill stuff, they won't know the difference. Mm -hmm. But to me, you can re-gift if it's something that you don't like, but also you know that the other person sure. will like it. So yeah. I know it's saying, hey, don't just give it away if if you hate it. But sometimes I'm thinking. I don't like this, however. I know somebody who will. I know someone that will. Right. So I'll, I, and sometimes I'll just openly re-gift. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. hey, I got this, but I have no use for it. Do you want it? Right. So I think that's I don't as have far a, as I don't have gone. a problem if somebody wanted to re-gift something that they knew that I would like. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, if it's something really nice, I don't even care if you open it and give it to me. <laughs> Generally, the gifts that I've gotten that have been re-gifted are wretched. You know, just things you can't use, and they're just these weird things. And I really want to see if you could track them, because I really think, because then I re-gift them right. to somebody mm -hmm. else, thinking yeah. somebody else might want this. I want to see their travels, where these re-gifted gifts have gone have over time. Have made their way? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be really funny. Yeah, the, uh, we were at a Christmas party not too long ago, and one of the presents that was given, and we all knew that it was a re-gift, was the real bad version of, I think, um, The Lion King, or it was one of the, like, or Sleeping Beauty, it's one of the Disney movies, yeah. but it w wasn't the animated one, like the Disney one, it was like one of these live action ones, oh. like that you find in w convenience store, and like a Walmart. bargain bin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at this, I was like, oh, oh, Beauty and the Beast, that's what it was, Beauty and the Beast, oh my yes. God. So this year we have rewrapped it, and it's going back to the person who we originally got it from. That is fantastic. Yeah. Well, you know what you can do? Yeah. If, if you do find yourself in a situation where you're re-gifting this week, maybe you're in an office party, the trick that if you don't want to get caught and you are in the same circle is just say, I loved it so much <laughs> when Sally gave it to me, so I just wanted to make sure that everyone else got it. I think one, that's you know? a good one, yeah. yeah I went out and bought just, it for you. You just pull a Yankee swap. I like Yankee yep. swaps. So everyone just kind of comes in and you're like, hey, if you have a gift that was weird or you didn't want it right. anymore, let's make a swap out yep. of it. And half of those gifts are kind of joke and gag Quirky. gifts anyways. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Half exactly. the stuff that I like to re-gift, this is going to sound funny, are actually the gift bags. Mm -hmm. You know when you received a gift oh, bag and you're like, time. this is gorgeous. And then you look on the bottom and say, and it was $5. I don't mm -hmm. spend $5 on a gift bag. I'm going to keep that nicely folded and use it. And I have been caught once with a friend that said, isn't this the same bag that I gave you for your <laughs> no, birthday? No, no, no. Do you save the bags after you get them? Oh, yeah. We the backup Completely. and save them. Oh, yeah. Promise. I save yeah, the I bags. I'm not one that saves wrapping paper, no, though. No, no. I'm no. just tearing that right up. Don't even bother. Just put the gift in the bag. That right. way I don't have to deal My with it. My mom no used to save money. the wrapping paper. We had to wrap it very carefully, uh, unwrap it very carefully. And then she also saved all the bows and would take new double stick tape every Christmas <laughs> and re-stick it. And I said, Mom, just buy yourself some new bows. I've seen the same bow for five years. <laughs> <laughs> the same bow has gone from each one of us kids back and forth and back and forth. Exactly. And the whole fun of it is actually tearing the gift open to begin I, with. I couldn't do that as a kid. I had to be very meticulous and right. make sure don't rip the bow. Don't right. rip the bow. So if you're re-gifting that box of like the Pepperidge Farm, you know, the one with the yeah. sausage and the cheeses in it <laughs> yeah. and everything else, don't bother. No. Don't, don't re-gift that. Don't re-gift that. I have tried to return things and then you find out that they're so super discounted. It's only going to be like $2 anyway. So right. I'm like, well, I might as well keep it Just and keep find it. some Just sort keep of it. use. Just keep it. What the heck? Exactly. Hang on to it. So. Yeah. We'll so accept any gifts, we'll though. Accept, yeah, I, I have no problem with gifts. I like them gifts. The Just, not the sausage and cheese. Just not the sausage and cheese <laughs> with the cutting board and the knife. Exactly. And I'll that be regifting anyone that, that I'll be receiving. Yeah. <laughs> well, we asked our Facebook friends what they thought about regifting. And Sandra Earls Walker says it depends on what it is. And I, I don't offend them. I'm not going to re-gift and tell them it was too big for me or too little for me because some people do it to me and it was sweet until they said that. <laughs> I agree. Don't let people know why you didn't like the gift. Just act like it's brand new. Keep it to yourself. <laughs>
Joseph Hebert says he never regifted because he always likes giving away, get this, his French meat pies. Oh, I like French meat pies. I do too. And that would be Me a too. really awkward thing to regift. So. Oh, Joe, that's a good gift. <laughs> it would be stale. <laughs> We'll, we'll take, we'll take two. Yeah. Two French meat pies. You like them, Mary? I, I, you know, add three. All add right, three. three. Make it three. <laughs> Don't wrap it. Adam Thoreau says, once I get a gift certificate, and I'm pretty sure it made its way back to me, who else gives gifts of $22.22 <laughs> to Dunkin' Donuts? So that's one way to track to see if your gift has been re-gifted. <laughs> I'll take any amount to Dunkin'. Amen. Oh. <laughs>